First goal, run the ball in. First goal, run the ball in. Take their heart. Take their heart. Take their heart. Take their heart. Run the football in. All right, that, that was my one run play. The offensive line coach. All right, touchdown, check down. So again, ball's inside the 25-yard line. Confidence in your quarterback. We want to vertically puncture the defense. So now the, I'm going to go through some specific plays here in a minute, but I'm just trying to show some concepts. Create ways to vertically puncture the defense and then have catch and run underneath. These would be our check downs. Create the one-on-one, -on -one, create the leverage, go score. Quarterback understanding. Every throw to me is, has to be five-step timing with two bounces at the most. Because I'm a nervous guy, I'm a protection-oriented guy, I'm an O-line type guy. I want the quarterback understanding. I, we have a field goal in hand. If you get tackled there, we don't. Touchdown, check down. The field is shrinking. The field is shrinking. Everything is on two bounces. Vertically puncture the defense. Again, here, watch the quarterback. I can live with that time. I can't live with anything else. Now we're going to throw four verticals with the shallow cross as the check down and the angle route. We're looking to vertically puncture the defense. He gets rerouted. Probably had a good play here. Understand the game. This is third down. This is third and ten. It's not a decision. It has to be trained. This kid is the most competitive kid I've ever been around. He wants to throw this ball so badly. But it's not an option. Check the ball down. Completions equal first downs. First downs equal touchdowns. That's the plan to win. Red zone touchdown battle. Not there. Hitch up in the pocket, find the check down. Again, you talk about brand, you talk about marketing. I'm going to go in there after this game and I'm going to just love on him. Tell him what a great job. The coordinator, Glenn Thomas, last year, he's, he's in the box right now on this play. He's cussing the quarterback out. I'm telling the quarterback, great job. It's third down. We're throwing a concept shell. He's open. The ball could have gone there. Quarterback didn't like it. He trusted me to go two downs. Checks the ball down, points in hand. Touchdown, check down, even on third down. You can't, and I do a terrible job of this, you can't, you know, tell the kid one thing and then celebrate the other way. Again, another, another component of this, another way of doing this is the intermediate route. So here we have a play action concept with a deep over the ball route, a post that's going to come open. He's dying to throw it. But understanding the timing of the situation. Bounce, bounce, don't like it. Get the ball completed in the red zone. Touchdowns, completions equal touch, uh, first downs, first downs equal touchdowns. Thought process of touchdown, check down. No matter how we do it, eye formation, spread, none of it matters. Just a couple more. I, I use these because these are so good for the quarterback to see. Our quarterbacks have to see these plays. Get the ball completed. Second and 11, guys aren't open on four vertical switch routes, find the check down. Make it third and three. Let me go two downs. Because if I get within third and six, and as a head coach, I think I do a pretty good job. I'll tell our coordinator, hey, you got two downs, man. Run the ball on third down. Third and eight, treat it like it's third and three. Check downs. And you know who messes this up for your kids? Who messes up for your quarterback? Are the defensive coaches and players. It's Fran and those guys in seven on seven. Oh, you check the ball down every play. You scared to throw the ball down the field. You've got to brand this in my mind. I think I got one more here, and then I'll move on to the next concept. Touchdown, check down. Work it, not there. Instantly find it. Deliberate practice. That's the worst move in the history of ball carrying. All right, low red. Now I want you to see how it changes in the low red zone. Now in the low red zone, we're going to now high-low high the, 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 the bracket coverage or the seven-goal line coverage. Quarterback's not afraid to hang in there now. Almost throws a pick. But he's not afraid to hang in there now because he knows a sack doesn't take away points. And I've had to adjust. I've had to get better. Again, we talk about where the ball should be thrown. High and away. Maybe another yard would be better. A yard or two yards below that goal post. Catch, tap your feet. Throw it high so no one else can pick it. Quarterback demeanor, way different in the low red, but if you don't practice it, he'll never get it. I want to talk to uh, Romo. He said they even put it in their play call. Da -da 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 -da, extend the play. Now, we're no huddle, so we don't, you know, we don't, we were huddle here, we're, not, we're no huddle now, so we don't really have that. 
Same concept again. Low red zone, I can hang in there. I can hang in there. I can hang in there and wait for these longer developing routes to be open. Again, this ball's high, it's just not away. If it was away, it'd be even better. By throwing it behind him, that kid has a chance to make a play. Every defender in the red zone is going to be on your back hip trying to undercut the ball. Well, you can see, let me go back to Ventel. You know, I, we came to SMU a couple years ago. This kid caught a touchdown at dance that made him do up downs on the sideline. He hit it up on, come on, man. I complained about it for three years, and now I'm like, I love this guy. What a, what a great catch. But why, I want you to see this. Watch, watch the ball skills. Watch his hands. Catches the ball, and the ball never goes to a tuck. It stays high and away. Now, I can't stand the fact he dropped it and all that, okay, because I don't want to leave it in that guy's mind. But high and away. Keep that ball away from the defender. But again, you can see the quarterback. People bearing down. Hang in there. Hang in there. Don't check the ball down. Hang in there. You have plenty of time. Just throw it high and away. All right, our vertical RPO. Again, touchdown, check down. Now we get in the high red zone. Don't like this as much down low. But now we're going to try to create leverage. We're going to try to read a defender. And we're thinking this is the check down. So check down, touchdown. Again, it's not in the end zone. We can see the undercut down here. Vertical RPOs in the high red. Everyone runs this play, I know, but again, you can see, I want you to see where the ball's thrown. High and away, you're going to get undercut in the red zone. Vertical RPO. And then finally, make them defend the RPO, and then if it's there, just run the ball in. 